Hello everyone, welcome to Shabita Uganda. You can join us on Shabita e-learning platform or you can contact us on e-learning at shabita.net. Today we are going to, in this lesson, we are going to look at physical features of Africa and their formation. We are going to be able to see how physical features like mountains were formed and the possibilities the results of their formation so in today's lesson we are going to look at definition of a physical feature examples of physical features found in east africa mountains and islands types of mountains the block mountains you look at the volcanic mountains the fold mountains okay so uh, formation of mountains example the fold the volcanic and the fold mountains examples of each of the above mountains the importance of the mountains to the people and the economic activities carried out around volcanic mountains straight away let's move to the next slide our physical features what are physical features what do you think physical features are angela okay angela is telling me physical features are things found on the earth's surface well, she has got a, a small idea, but physical features are natural landforms of the Earth's surface. Angela, good trial. So, physical features are natural landforms on the Earth's surface. They can also be called relief features. Uh, relief means the general appearance of the land. So, relief is the same as topography. Because topography means the surface of the earth how is it is it rugged is it flat so where your house is constructed is a flat surface so that's called relief the relief is the general appearance of the earth's surface okay so if the land surface is flat so that the relief is flat if it is rugged rugged means like it is sloping down it's like you know a slope of a mountain so that's rugged okay on the next slide for any questions we are going to be active in the whatsapp group in the google classrooms you can ask questions that you have not understood or you can check back in the previous slides slowly by slowly we shall be able to get in touch with you thank you so there now the next slide we're going to look at examples of physical features and we know that physical features are natural landforms of the earth's surface so examples we have got there are very many near you we have got the mountains okay we look at the water bodies the lakes and the rivers so we have categorized them rivers and lakes fall under water bodies because they are sources of water we look at the forests we look at, we look at plateau and so on okay jeremy pay attention so physical features include mountains rift valleys lakes and rivers oceans so these are the drainage features that bring in the water lagoons and coastal plains so examples of physical features i've said jeremy okay mountains rift valleys lakes and rivers oceans or all, all together they're called drainage features then lagoons and coastal plains okay now members we are going to look at mountains and islands as the first physical feature in today's lesson all right so we tend that see mountain what is a mountain then find that uh, whenever you find something raised like an you'll be like that's a mountain no okay it, the idea is correct but it is not properly explained so a mountain is a is a piece of land that is raised okay higher compared to the anthills which people think they are hills all right so let's look at them a mountain is a raised piece of land raised from the earth's eh? surface there are three main types of mountains namely volcanic mountains volcanic mountains these are the mountains that are formed as a result of volcanic era eruption okay sandra uh block mountains or host mountains so we tend to look at block mountains are called are the same as ho host mountains host mountains these include these are mountains which are formed as a result of faulting okay so examples we have got the 
can you whisper to me, Derek? No. Mfumbiru is not a volcanic mountain. It's not a block mountain. Rather, it's a... It's a block mountain, not a volcanic mountain. So, block mountains, we have got Mount Rizol. Oh, this is called the mountain of the moon. Fold mountains. So, let's look at the next slide. I hope... We are paying attention all of us today so we're going to look at the formation of mountains so volcanic mountains these are mountains from the desert of volcanic era eruption whereby underneath the earth there were forces that ignited up the rocks and the rocks came outside and they threw out ash sand so the accumulation of this resulted into formation of a mountain okay Whereas block mountains, these were formed as a result of faulting, okay? Whereby a piece of land was raised up by tension forces and compression forces. So we're going to look at the compression theory and the tension theory, alright? So let's go slowly by slowly. So first of all, we're going to look at the volcanic mountains. These are formed as a result of volcanic eruption. Vol a volcano is a feat is a feature through which hot liquid, rock, water, steam, or ash pass from the inside of the earth to the earth's surface. Volcanic mountains are formed when molten rocks. Molten means something is like a stone has been heated and turns into a liquid. That is a very high temperature. So that liquid is called magma forces itself out itself away from the earth, uh, from the earth's surface today from within the earth in the surface to the surface of the earth okay a volcanic mountain are formed when molten rocks known as magma force itself way to the surface of the earth all right i hope any question if there's some questions Feel free to contact me on 0708990034 or can send us an email at elearning.shabite.net or you, you can contact us in the WhatsApp group students, WhatsApp group or in the Google Classroom you can ask any question. We shall be able to reply you very soon and very amazing. So we look at the next slide. Types of volcanic mountains we have got there are three types of volcanic mountains namely active volcano dormant volcano or sleeping volcano dormant means something is not active so if you're not active you're either sleeping or you're either seated okay so dormant means you're sleeping or you're redundant doing nothing and look at the extinct volcanoes or the dead Extinct means it, it is no longer existing, no longer active, but it's just there, please just there, okay? So, the types of volcanic, of volcanic mountains, we have got the active, active means you are ready, anytime you can erupt. The dormant or the sleeping, they cannot, they are sleeping, but if time comes, they can awake and they become active. And then look at the extinct volcanoes or the, or the dead volcanic mountains okay so let's look on the next slide so description of a volcano what do you think a volcano is my dream mm, a good trial but rather not okay so active volcano is one is the one which can erupt anytime so active means it's ready anytime it can do what it can erupt whereas a dormant volcano is one that has taken long without erupting but has signs of erupting again okay so we tend to look at now extinct volcano is the one which will never erupt it has existed it has it has it has extinct it has it is dead so it can it can never erupt extinct it is no more it is no more active to erupt extinct so you find that some of the species were extinct like look at the you look at the dinosaurs 
they are extinct features they are no more so they're the same to these mountains if it's extinct or dead extinct means dead they are no more it cannot erupt any time whereas active volcano is one which can erupt any time and dormant volcano is one that has taken long without erupting but has the signs of erupting again so members we can move to the next slide if there are no questions but if there are questions feel free to contact me or you can send us an email at elearningthesharbit.net or in the google classroom and the whatsapp group and you are thank you very much let's move to the next slide so we're going to look at a table showing volcanic mountains so some of you have been asked give three examples of volcanic mountains found in uganda drc congo democratic republic of congo kenya and you are not so familiar with it so here is the dose the antidote to the problem so we have got a mountain on the on the on the left and a country on the right so we are going to look at the active volcanoes remember active volcanoes these are mountains which can erupt at any time so we have got mountain nirangong mountain nyamulagira mountain odonyo mountain cameroon mountain mufumbiro mufumbiro is in uganda mountain cameroon is found in cameroon mountain Oldonyo Rengai is found in Tanzania. Mountain Nyamulangila is found in Democratic Republic of Congo. Well, Mountain Nirangong is also found in the same country, Democratic Republic of Congo. So I'm going to look at now the dormant or the dead. Or the dormant or the sleeping, sorry. Mountains volcanic mountains we have got mountain longo not mountain muhavur mountain morot mountain longo not is found in kenya mountain muhavur is found in uganda whereas mountain moroto is also found in uganda in which country in which district moroto okay so we look at extinct or the dead volcanoes they have got mountain elgon so extinct mountains are mountains which erupted long time and they can no longer era erupt so they are the dead volca volcanoes they have got mountain elgon found in uganda mountain kenya found in kenya mountain kilimanjaro found in tanzania so below i've given you some assignments and you're going to describe for me how the mountain volcanic mountain is formed uh, look at give me examples of extinct mountains in Uganda and in Kenya so you look in the previous exercises in the previous slides we have looked on if you are if you are paying attention you will be able to grasp them very well and gifts will be awarded to the best winners so we we'll move on the next slide so we'll look at the economic activities around volcanic mountains first of all economic activities these are activities which man does to earn a living which improve on man's standards of living first of all farming is an economic activity why is farming called economic activity farming is called an economic activity because farmers grow crops and on crop when crops mature they are sold to the market areas for people for human co consumption and in the short term Man gets money which he uses to improve his standards of living, like buying himself vehicles, uh, building up, constructing a house, and establishing businesses, having a health family. So those are the standards of living that man needs. So we tend to find that on some slopes of volcanic mountains, like Mount Eregon, they are so fertile, it has got a very fertile alluvial soils which are extracted from within the earth's surface, the surface of the earth. So this soil will serve a crop growing, which enable human beings to grow crops and sustain their life. Okay, let's look at some. 
I've got crop farming. This is due to fertile alluvial soils that are extracted from deep within the earth surface and highly favor crop growing. For example, Arabica coffee on the gentle slopes of mountain Elgon. Okay. So we look at the tourism, tourism, tourism as an economic activity. This is the act of people from either abroad or within the country to visit beautiful sceneries within, with the aim of either studying or having leisure and they provide foreign exchange to a, a country. Foreign exchange, this is the money which is, the, which is got from people who are from, who are from abroad to a foreign country. And this money is later on exchanged into the normal currencies and later is invested into other sectors of the economy, hence improving people's standards of living, developing of infrastructures like roads, hospitals, where people tend to find medical care. So we look at mining as an economic activity. Since for, under, during volcanic eruption, we tend to find that uh, minerals, some minerals from deep within the earth surface can be ex can be taken from the earth surface to the surface of the earth. So we tend to find that you may find that some gold or diamond may be removed from within the earth surface to the surface of the earth. Hence, this encourages mining. This encourages favors mining where people extract, look for these precious minerals to to sell them and earn money. So look at lumbering. Lumbering this is the cutting down of trees to get timber and for use in paper industries to manufacture papers. So around the slopes of mountains of these volcanic mountains, you tend to find that very many trees grow around them. And once they have grown, human beings tend to cut them down for la for timber to use in the paper industry, for timber to use to, to sell construction of houses and so on. Okay. I hope Jeremy will be in class and Chantal. Okay. So look at the importance of volcanic mountains. Uh, they help in rainfall formation. They act as natural boundaries between countries. For example, look at mountain Renzori and the uh, mountain Renzori. Acts as uh, it's in the west. It separates the Democratic Republic of Congo from Uganda. So it's at the border of Uganda and DRC. The attract tour is to bring in foreign exchange. I've explained it already. There are sources of mineral deposits. They have fertile soils for, fa for farming. Some mountains are sources of rivers, like mountain, like the snow mountain, like mountain Renzori. Some rivers, like River Fiji, emerge from mountain Renzori when the snow melts and then they flow, they flow down to the earth's surface. So they are natural habitats for wild animals like low parts due to forests around them so they tend to act as natural habitats for wild animals. Okay. Now we are going to look at thank you very much for attending this lesson. May God bless you so much. So I'm going to look at you are going to answer these questions below and you will submit them in the Google classrooms and we shall be able to mark you. The first question says, explain what is meant by the following, giving an example in each. An active volcano, a dead volcano, extinct volcanoes. What is the importance of volcanic mountains? Seven marks. So you have to give me the importances of what you have learned today. And I will be able to see whether Shadrach has been in class or not. But if you have been in class, just know a big reward will await for you. So Democratic Republic of Congo, Kenya. So I'm going to draw a volcanic mountain and label 10 marks. I've, I know I didn't illustrate it out, but just that that's research work. I know Jeremy, you're good at research. Every learner here is good at research. So do your best and God bless you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for giving us more time, giving us some time to join us on the platform. We love you so much. And keep on checking the playlist below for the recent videos you have missed. I know they will be helpful in this session. Happy New Year. We love you so much. You can contact me on 0708-9900-34 or you can send us an email at ilanengashabit.net. We shall be able to answer your questions.